Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here and welcome to today's two minute message. So all of us wanna live lives that are fulfilling, lives that when we look at them, we say, this is exactly what I think it's supposed to be. And for many of us, one of the great uh, tensions of life, one of the great struggles of life is that we don't really feel fulfilled by the life that we're living. So I have three simple ways to make sure that your life is truly fulfilling. First, you need to prioritize God over everything else. Why? Because God, in God, we live and move and have our being. And God's will, when we are living out God's will, is the only way that we truly feel fulfilled. Even if everything else is falling apart, if you're right in the center of what you know God has for you, it feels even amazing to be in the midst of a calamity in the midst of the center of God's will. But if we don't prioritize God over everything else, we allow lesser things to take up more and more of our space in our hearts, and it never will feel fulfilling. So first, you got to prioritize God. Second, you need to prioritize people over stuff. And the reason that is, is you're prioritizing God first because God is eternal, and then you prioritize people over uh things or stuff because people are eternal as well. Uh, we are hardwired for relationships. And unfortunately, we have a tendency to put people on the altar of the attainment of stuff. And you'll never feel fulfilled with stuff. Stuff can be things that are, are part of our life, but it never makes us really feel fulfilled. Relationships make us feel fulfilled uh, in all these different spheres of life. So if you want to be fulfilled, you need to make sure you're not prioritizing people over stuff. So first you prioritize God, second you prioritize people, and then third, it, for lack of a better way to say it, we need to prioritize balance. Now, that word balance is a challenging word because if you look at the life of Jesus or the life of the Apostle Paul or the life of King David, they actually, their lives don't really seem that balanced. But the idea of balance is that we have to look at our life almost like a, 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 a pizza pie and that there are different areas in our life that, that need responsibility. And for what many of us do, and the reason we feel unfulfilled is we allow one aspect or part of life to take up the whole pie when there actually needs to be different slices, like there's family and there's vocation and then there's entertainment. And what happens is, is that uh, if when we feel unfulfilled, almost always there is something that is taking up too much room and other things are suffering because of it. And so when you prioritize balancing, you're gonna give each area of life that is necessary its proper due. And, and in different seasons of life, you have to kind of rebalance things given what the stressors are or the needs are in any given season. But if you prioritize God and then you prioritize people over stuff and you make sure you're rebalancing life given its unique priorities, but everything gets its proper due, I guarantee you when it's all said and done, you will feel much more fulfilled than you do right now. So that's what I do. I want you to share this message because we want to make sure that people are living fulfilling lives. Jesus said, I've come that they might have life and they might have life more abundantly. And in the comment section, I want you to, to tag somebody who you know they are living the kind of life that they are feeling fulfilled. And I want you to encourage them to keep on keeping on prioritizing God, people, and making sure life is properly balanced. God bless you today.